hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be teaching you how to cut a collar neck easy way to cut a collar neck i'm still going to drop another tutorial about uh, how to sew it but today i'm going to teach you how to cut a collar neck and these are the major things you need your tape rule collar stay your fabric your ruler and all so now what you will do is to measure your round neck the round neck of the person you want to sew the um, collar neck for so the round neck just to see me doing the video after you've sewn the fabric you try as much as possible to measure it this is eight and a half now this kind of collar neck is actually different from the one that is all round now i have i'm going to add um a button to the back of this so this is separated round neck so i have eight and a half also just the way you see it in the video so i measured the two round necks so i'm going to be cutting it separately because they are separate and because of the zip that is at the back of the dress so that is why it has to be different so i'm putting a button that's why so the reason i'm drawing a straight line now is to just achieve a very straight cut so that is not actually needed if your collar stay is straight so you measure what you measured now the round neck which is eight and a half so i dotted it there to be able to differentiate so that is eight and a half just the way you see me do in the video if you don't have a collar stay you can use the normal ad stay that is available and then you make sure that the width is 1.2 i think i used 1.2 in the video so depends on how you want yours to be you can make a use of it shouldn't be too big too so i made use of 1.2 you know i'm cutting out two so we have two pieces for the collar stay you know we have the underneath the one that is underneath and then the one that will be um that's going to fall down i'm going to drop some um pictures here so that it'll be easy for you to get so the one that is going to slip out on your neck directly on your neck i'm sorry i'm trying to use simple terms so that it'll be easy for you to get it so you cut out the two the reason why it's two is because you know i said it earlier that i divided my neck into two because i'm going to be using button at the back so the length is 8.5 just where you measure this we are not going to put any allowance on the color stay but on the fabric you're going to add allowance but on the color stay there's no need to put there's no need to put allowance so you cut it out like so now we know that we naturally used to have two pieces for the round neck so this is the first piece for the collar neck this is the first piece so i'm going to cut out the second piece now you know when we measured our fabric it was eight inches so you minus one inches from where the button is going to be so you can see that it's one inches so you minus it from the upper part of your round neck you know we have two pieces so the upper part you measure you minus one inch to cut out the upper part so that it's not going to be exactly the same as the lower part that you cut at first so you minus one inch from the lower part to measure your upper part so i measure that the width of this is two inches so it depends on how big you want it but I try as much as possible not to make sure to make sure it's not too big so that it can actually fit in perfectly so i minus um one inch from the downward part to me this seven and a half inch so for the upper part of my color stay i'm going to be using seven and a half inch don't worry this is very simple i'm just going to drop some images so that it will be actually very easy for you to understand what i'm trying to explain and you just cut it out like so so i have to measure it again so you can see you see that it's seven and a half and then the first one that we measured for the downward part is eight and a half inch inches so you cut out you slant it a bit at the front cut it into two you know the reason why i cut it into two like i said earlier is because our home color neck is divided into two because of the button i'm using at the back so the back you can just slant it if you want this is optional you can leave it like so and if you want to cut it like that you can also do so 
So it's slanted here and then it's curved at the back. So this is just a very easy way to cut it out. So we have the two, the four piece. So each neck has two two piece, the downward part and the upper part of the neck. So you just use it to cut out your fabric like so. Make sure that you're cutting each two to each each of the piece. You cut out the fabric too because you're going to cover it up. You know, none of the side is going to show. So you try as much as possible. So I'm trying to save fabric. That was why I folded it into four. So I'll be cutting the two together. That is. I'm cutting out two of that piece together. That is why I'm putting it into four. So two for each. This is just to say fabric. If you want to cut it individually, you can do that. So uh, the camera actually stopped without me knowing at some point here. So I'm still going to drop some other videos as to how to sew it perfectly. So this is just a very easy way, don't worry, it did not add. I'm going to drop on that YouTube video so you can understand perfectly how to cut it and how to sew it rather. Thank you. I am sure you learned one or two things. Please try as much as possible to comment below if you do. And if you're confused at a point, you can also comment so that I can actually explain. Now, there are so many other ways to do this, but this is just a very easy way to do it. So just the way you also um, cut the first set, you also cut the second set like that, like so. So two in two of the fabric for each piece. So I'm going to cut out the other one too like that. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you've not done so. Bye.